everyone, I hope you're all well. I'm using Bradley Valentine's Angel Tarot Card Deck for our message. I'll choose three cards from the Angel Tarot Card Deck and I'll also choose one from Anastarts Pack as well. There's such huge energies, potent energies entering Earth at this time. This is Christ of the Light coming all the way from the spiritual sun. And it is bringing the divine intelligence through the particles of light. So we are, as we are absorbing the light, anything that is not in keeping with that high vibrational light, that frequency is coming up. It's, it's like when you shine the light into a, a cluttered room or a room full of dust. The light shines and it shows all the clutter, the untidiness and and so as we that's what's happening within us. So as we are decluttering and shifting through these emotions that may be coming up, these anxieties and our head is just projecting out fear into our reality based on everything that we are thinking and feeling is our history and we are now coming into a place of transmuting all that so that as we project light into our future we are projecting love into our future that is what we will manifest and step into so I'm setting the intention for a reading for the collective for our highest and greatest good there we have one Two and three. So we keep getting, don't we? The three of earth has come out again in this reading. So we have 11 strength archangel Ariel walking with us, helping us, guiding us. Asking us to have those empowering thoughts because as we have those empowering thoughts, we bring strength into our body, into our physical body, into our life. And being strong is not stepping into anger and trying to force things to happen or trying to change other people's points of view. It's about coming and stepping into our own light. That is here in this present moment. Everything that we will ever need is here in this present moment. And when we're projecting into the future, hoping that things will be okay, hoping that everything is going to sort itself out. We are projecting energy down a empty void. As we come in with that faith of knowing that everything is exactly how it's meant to be. And our soul is guiding us into a place of happiness, our soul the divine our high self really is guiding us in home to happiness and love to stay strong in this moment archangel ariel she's the archangel over all the elementals she brings divine magic into our lives but we have to stay strong in this moment to attract it we can't start projecting trying to solve problems in the future when the time comes and we're in those situations we'll see how things are a lot easier and if we just look back over the past 12 months and longer at all the worrying we've done and it just does not assist us in any way shape or form so Archangel Ariel is stepping in asking us to let go and surrender anything from the future that we're worrying about to have that faith to not let our head run away with us because that's all it is it's illusion it's the the memories coming to the fore to the forefront and we're projecting them into our future we're here creating something new now 
and to create something new we have to do something different so changing our thoughts really breathing through these emotional memories that may be surfing at this time just breathing through them and letting them shift through our body calling in archangel ariel for this strength and courage and she is the lioness of god and she is so gentle she owes no fear none of the archangels hold fear because if she did the lion would feel that there was something wrong and would be snarling and attacking and it's not it's in peace because she is in peace she's the lioness of god and reminds us that if we're in fear we would draw the fear to us by people being aggressive or conflicting just let it go step into peace and manifest from that beautiful essence of your divine intelligence that is knowing of everything it knows all the three of earth is people coming together to support us now people on the same wavelength we don't have to fear anyone who's coming into our lives we're all on the same wavelength we are all looking towards healing Bring in love into the planet, bring in upliftment and higher, higher vibration, heavenly vibration to the planet. And as we raise in our vibration, we actually come into alignment with receiving those upgrades that are coming now to earth, earth at this time, here to assist us in the masterpiece of our life, in the masterpiece of this ascension of earth and everyone who resides upon it. Things coming together now. You're on your right path. Stay focused. Don't let any doubt creep in. Stay focused. Stay in your heart center. And then the six of air, the six of air keeps coming up so we're all shifting to a better environment, whether we're moving home, whether it is that we are now starting to shift things inside us. So everything around us starts to change as we start to have better thoughts about ourselves, our life, as we start to love ourselves, the dynamics of everything around us start to change. And we start to travel into passages new, which is a beautiful environment, a positive environment, because we've let go of the past. We've let go of the old earth. Now we're making that shift into this new reality, into this new earth that we're all projecting from our hearts, not from any illusion of our minds, from our hearts, from our heart centre. And our heart centre is the gateway, the portal that is going to carry us into the new world, into this new beautiful reality. This is feelings of health as well, that start to, it's starting to feel better. This is a card that is letting us know the challenges have all been in our heads. And this is a time of moving away from those challenges now, those challenging thoughts. And the base of the pack is the seven of earth. Again, seeds well planted. And as we focus on those seeds of love, of creativity, and we take our gaze away from the outside world, coming back in, coming back in and nurturing those creations that we have within us, nurturing our authentic, our authentic self, our authenticity, nurturing that and allowing it to expand within us. This brings in pr prosperity. This brings in beautiful abundance of love, of, of expansion, of 
complete joy, absolute joy. Those roots well planted into the air, working with our ancestors who are, who are guiding us through this time, working with our ancestors, working with our mother, mother, father energies, the divine feminine, the divine masculine, working with them and allowing them to merge within us and feel that merge and that, that merging in with our ancestors, all the strength, all the power, all the love, nothing else, no all patterns, just the divine love that they have, that is residing within the, the soul, the spirit coming through now, giving us strength to navigate through these powerful energies that will come out of We'll come out and we'll look back and we'll see how far we've come like we always do. Letting go of the worry, letting go of the stress now as we start to have more faith in ourselves and our journey. And this brings, we're coming into that place of abundance. So let go now, just come back into your heart. Let go of any expectation you're putting on yourself any pressure that you're putting on yourself come back into your heart and give love to everyone this is the the time of of giving from our heart center not from any shop not from any pressure we're put putting on ourselves but spreading this beautiful divine energy of love into all areas and into everyone within our life and this then starts to bring forth divine abundance so i'm asking anna starts now cards for a message for us all during these times of real transformation that's occurring on the planet calling in the ascended masters and there we are flipped over light coals coming in why worry why worry about things that we have no control over absolutely no control over and block ourselves from from really opening up to these light coats that are coming in from the heavenly dimensions and in these light coats there is a vibration a high vibration all symbols carry vibration they are coming in and we're anchoring them into the earth now is the time to open up allow your soul to be nourished by these light coals that are coming in and awaiting, uh, awaiting us. They are waiting for us to just open up. They're there, they're resting on our crowns. And the moment we step into peace, that is when these light coals come in through our chakras, raising our chakras into the heavenly dimensions, raising our energy, raising our frequency. And out there around us, it, 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 it's the Wi-Fi, whatever you want to plug into, that it, you will get that information within you. So if you want to plug in, into fear we are going to see more and more fear we will see it in the media we'll see it every when we unplug absolutely unplug and open our crowns to allow our soul to be nurtured and nourished by these beautiful heavenly symbols these this language of light this high fry frequency high vibration light coming in and within that light there are the in the the messages the divine messages from the ascended masters who are helping us to ascend during this time so don't get fooled by your thoughts and whatever's coming up the more you stay in peace that is where your strength is. The more you stay in this moment, that is where your strength is. It's not 
projecting yourself into the future, trying to sort everything out before you get there, or going into the past, remembering everything that weakens us. We're here. We are these heavenly beings now. The more light we take in, the higher we are going to vibrate. We're moving into the higher dimensions. And in those higher dimensions, there is no judgment, there is no force, there is no conflict, there is no different ways of seeing things because everybody in their reality and their perception is right. We only have our reality and our perception and we're all here creating new worlds within us. This new earth is coming from within us. So this is the ascended masters. This is the galactic masters of light who are coming through now and they reside within us. They're not outside of us. We can tap into them within and allowing our crowns to open and allowing this downpouring and these upgrades to really enter our, our bodies as we are ascending now, our physical bodies are ascending and it is to be gentle with our body and allow and just feel if there's any tension within our body that we are holding an emotion there or we're holding a fear of change there and to just be mindful of scanning your body, breathing this light in, allowing any tension within your body to just dissolve into the light. It's really simple. It's easier than holding on to the past. It's easier than stepping into fear. It's easier than stepping into to conflict. That is our past. That is what we're unplugging from now. We're unplugging from the third dimension and we're moving up in to the higher dimensions where nothing of that resides only love, only light, only expansion and acceptance resides up there. So we have 7, 10, 21, 27, 9, completion. We're coming through a completion. We're coming through a, an old phase of our life that is falling away now. Let it fall. Let anything fall away that is causing disturbance within you. Let it, let it just melt away, dissolve. You don't have to go in and try and fix anything. Just let it dissolve, taking those breaths, allowing this energy, any old emotional energy to just work through your body. Don't then be projecting it anywhere. It doesn't live in our future, it is our past. We're coming to the completion now. Things are coming up and they're coming up, but we know what to do now. We know that they are, it's not real, it's, it's illusion. If it's not making us happy, it's not for us. If it's not allowing us to expand in our energy, it isn't for us. If we are making any decisions based on any kind of fear or pressure, it's not for us just to step back and have patience with everything and everyone, including ourselves, until we come into alignment and we know this is right for us. We absolutely know it in our hearts, it's right for us. So a beautiful day today. This energy is, is really accelerating, coming in higher and faster and showing up all our dirty, uh, dirty rooms that we need to go in and do our spring clean on, ready to take in the Christ consciousness through Christmas. If Jesus were to visit us, we would make sure our house was clean. We would make sure we were respectable and we spoke with love. This is the house that Jesus, that Christ energy is coming into. This light is saying, come on, let's do some clean up. Let's clean things up, ready to bring in this beautiful Christ light so it can seed within us and we can raise up into that beautiful light of higher dimension of love.
so I'm sending so much love enjoy this energy do the spring cleaning within it's nothing out there that needs spring cleaning or anybody else it's within so I'm sending so much love have a beautiful beautiful day and thank you so so much for listening god bless thank you